So it is a pretty much <clears throat> a self-reliant type of month. I feel that other people might bring you bad energies, not that it's um, bad per se or negative, but I feel that you're, you are retreating and trying to find your own inner peace. So let's talk about this spread first. Um, one of the major things that I do feel has happened is um, we do have the Ten of Cups in the reverse as well as the Four of Wands in the reverse. Both of these are greatly indicative of family and residence, place of residence. It could be the physical household structure or it could be like, you know, the, the union the physical union of a relationship where there's mom and dad, children involved as well. So I definitely feel there is some situation like destabilizing energy concerning that. And as a result of this, I feel that you are working with another person in order to figure this out. But at this point, the other person is a little bit argumentative and they might not be cooperative just yet I feel that the situation can turn around for the better but I do sense that because of it there is a more of an energy where you are not rushing into things and you're trying to you know find a way out of this in a more calm manner so rather than taking a combative approach I feel that you're looking towards um you're looking forward to things resolving on their own as well as starting a new phase in your life. So you feel like you're turning your back on this situation and you feel like, you know, it's at its end and there's no way you can go back to it. As a result of it, something major, major has happened possibly in January or there has been some major shift where you feel like you can't really repair this situation. You can't really go back to it and you're going to move on. So this is pretty much, you know, the end of the line, wrapping up loose ends on your end and picking up the pieces and moving forward. Um, I feel that the reality, the, the full extent of the situation hasn't hit you yet because, you know, in the process of moving on, picking up the pieces and moving on, it's pretty much the Ten of Wands. I don't have that here. So I feel like things are starting to hit or the realization of it is going to like wash over you. And it's not until the last week of the month where you realize, okay, I, I really have to do something else and I really have to move on. But I don't feel you are feeling especially saddened by it or even, you know, um, bothered by it it feels to me like this has been some time in the making and this is pretty much you know the last phase of it is what I'm sensing so it is a, a bit of a heavy hitter type of month because we do have a lot of uh, aces and uh, we have the ace of cups here as well as the ace of pentacles and you know both of these things if they were, if they ever show up, they indicate the beginning of something. It was like the beginning of that, that, that first, you know, inkling of love. It was the beginning of some financial situation that had great potential. But for some reason, there's stall communication regarding both of these things. There is potentially, you know, talks about somebody moving into your house. And then all of it, all of a sudden it fizzled out. And then there is possibly talks of new dating relationship, new romantic partners. And for some reason, it's not really getting off the ground. And I, I honestly believe that, you know, around Valentine's Day, people are so um, anxious about it. It's a weird holiday and people become insecure if they're lonely or if they're, you know, single. So they tend to couple up and then by the end of the month, it just peters out. So I feel like this is something that could potentially happen for you guys this month so you know be don't be impulsive don't try to couple up just for this one made up holiday that really doesn't really serve any significance in the greater scheme of things you know love is authentic and it should be celebrated every day so I feel like that's what might be happening for a lot of you or there might have been some type of relationship that got carried over from last year you know some relationship that you feel was on its last leg and it got carried over from last year until now and then it is just um fizzling out at this point this is the month of realization for those of you um that have like a, a troublesome relationship on its last leg that is just petering out or for those of you that have started the beginning of the something the beginning of the month you might have realized you rushed into it a little bit too fast you took up an offer that you feel you know it was kind of like a meh kind of offer where it didn't you didn't see the long-term potential and guess what because of it 
because of this impulsive energy, I feel that it's fizzling out towards the end of the month, okay? Additionally, I don't have um, cards here that indicate, you know, strong things, strong and stable things in your life at this present moment. Most of the cards are in the reverse position. The two court cards are upright. So a lot of you in general are possibly dealing with an air sign. Once again, every Aries reading I've gotten, I've ever done, I feel like there's always an air sign in the picture. I don't know why. And I've done reading since, you know, last year. So there's always an air sign in every Aries reading. So air signs are Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is also an energy where, you know, your impulsive nature um, where your combative, impulsive nature is, is coming through, but it's in the upright position. So I do feel there was something very troubling that happened to you in January, possibly with an air sign or at least with another fire sign. And you're, there might have been like a confrontation in, in this month. You're pretty much dealing with the residual impact of that, okay? So because the card came out in the very beginning of the spread, it indicates to me this is something carried over from the previous months. And as a result of it, I feel that, um, I feel that the energy was combative. There might have been arguments. There might have been, you know, just um, trying to, to see eye to eye with another person. And the communication was just really at a standstill, at a stalemate. So a lot of you might have started dating other people. And then you realize that, oh, I, I actually need to take some time off for myself in order to make myself whole first, in order to find, you know, joy and contentment in my own life because the other relationships are not really working out. I honestly do feel that if you want to start a new relationship this month, um, it's a great time for relationships because you have some offers on the table. However, you want to be very, very careful about taking it very slow because the Ace of Pentacles underneath the, you know, the offer card, it indicates to me that um, this has a lot of potential. And it has the potential to, for great growth and abundance, okay? And on the practical front, this is a very, I, I feel like it's a very practical type of uh, situation where, you know, both people are stably employed and the relationship is safe. It has the potential to grow into love, to grow into something of great value. And you see a path associated with this love offer as well. However, when it's in the reverse, it means that, you know, you need to take this extra slow, mainly because I feel that there is some healing that needs to happen from the other person's perspective, okay, from the other partner, whoever it is that you're dealing with. There's some healing that needs to take place from their end. They might have just gotten out of a long-term serious relationship, so they're not completely, they're, they're still wobbly. They're not completely whole yet. Additionally, there's some type of um, household situation, a lot of movement from their end that they need to take care of as well. I feel that you're kind of very optimistic this month. This is you showing up here as the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is a very idealistic, is a very, you know, pure hearted energy. You want something new. You want to like, you know, reignite your your life and you want major, major transformation in your life. I feel that for a lot of you, a relationship might have ended and you're feeling, you know, very liberated and free. Additionally, you're looking out into the horizon, into the future, because you want, you know, opportunities to travel, to expand your consciousness. A lot of you might be going back to school to like a, a higher institution of learning. You're hoping to expand your consciousness, your mind, your knowledge base, and you're hoping to, you know, just, um, grab life by the horns because I feel like this is a very, very, you know, forward looking energy and you feel that the, the possibilities are endless. Um, whatever happened in the past is really not phasing you at this present moment because you have high hopes and aspirations for the future. If you are taking up new job offers, I do feel that it's not exactly what you, you know, um, had your eyes on you might have had you know several interviews and the one that the the offer that came through um, There might be a salary decrease as a result of it But I do feel that there is still a lot of potential here if you have recently You know started a new relationship with fire sign or air sign 
uh, there is also a lot of potential here, but you want to take it extra, extra slow. Okay, it has potential both because once again, the aces are seeds. But I do feel, especially if you are um, looking for love relationships overall, um, it's really important not to take on a naive energy. When the sun is in the reverse position, it is still a very positive card. But I do feel that um, this is a situation where getting clean breaks from your past and, you know, um, I guess like allowing people who don't want to be in your life to leave your life and release them and just say that, you know, I, I know that things didn't work out, but I forgive you, I release you rather than retaliation, rather than confrontation, things like that, okay? Um, it's going to be required of you for this month. I also feel that new relationship partners, you want to approach it extra slow, mainly because uh, you're exhibiting the page energy where you are starry-eyed and overly optimistic. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just the surrounding environment for you indicates to me that um, there might be, you know, problems getting things off the ground and it's not from coming from you you're very pure hearted it's coming from other people external to you and as a result of that you want to just um be very very slow be very methodical i also feel if you're waiting on communication especially from a fire sign there's going to be some type of uh, unexpected news coming through from a fellow fire sign that um you know if things have been like rolling along I feel like there's a lot of unexpected news you didn't anticipate coming through from fire signs. If you are waiting on news communication from an air sign, <clears throat> from an air sign, I do sense that um, the the separation. If you know you you've you've been dating an air sign and there has been problems, I feel that there is some kind of communication breakthrough that will allow you both to come back together again. So if you have taken a break from one another, there's potential here to come back together because I do feel the end to heartache and pain, the end to some type of a separation, okay? Job opportunities, financially, things are looking very good. And I feel that there are plenty of job opportunities. There are plenty of relationship opportunities as well. Just take it very, very slow. Um, I do feel for those of you moving out of one house into the next situation, a lot of you are going to be looking for, you know, a new place to live, a new uh, apartment, a new house, a new property, or you are kind of like branching out and trying to decide, you know, if you're a home buyer, for example. I do sense that um, you're going to get a very, very good deal. So I feel like it's almost like, you know, um, some house might be short, uh, a short sale. Or you are thinking about, you know, breaking out of your, your, your zone and just going off and, and, and taking um, some type of journey on your own. So I feel that if you are venturing into areas where you want to buy new property overseas, you're managing new property overseas or something like that, it can be very lucrative for you. Um, in terms of family situation, and this is, you know, specifically family relationships, okay? Mom, dad, whoever you live with. I feel that there is some situation within the home that, um, where people are not getting along is what I'm sensing. If you have roommates, if you have like, you know, just people that you live with, um, it can even be significant others, but I feel like there's some sense of dissatisfaction with the place you're living. And it could also be a, a situation where people are not not getting along anymore. You know, like roommates not getting along, people not getting along, rent is late, for example. There's like lack of communication and there's just like stall communication. So for example, people might have said that, okay, I, I have a you know an exam at nine at nine AM. So, you know, don't make any noise or don't party too hard the night before because I have to sleep. And then there's like mixed messages. So, and there's like a, a confusion regarding the timing. So there's like some kind of disturbance within the home. And I do feel a lot of it is just, um, bickering, miscommunication, rent being late, being turned in late. So there's a sense of, um, I feel that normally un under different circumstances, you would be very, you know, confrontational and you would stand up for what you believe is, um, 
is the right thing to do. So you would be confrontational under normal circumstances. For this month, I feel that a lot of you are kind of like taking a, a laid back approach where you're just like, okay, I've had this issue before it's an ongoing issue so I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and make sure that and, and you know I'm going to take a step back and wait for them to resolve it on their own so you're being in a root you're you're actually in a very good environment this month where you're not going to be assertive or aggressive you're taking more of a, a laid-back approach and you're allowing the other people to step up and do their part of the their fair share of the work which is really good if it doesn't resolve by the 15th, whatever the situation is in your living environment, you have to do something about it, okay? Because I don't feel that it's going to go away and it might cause further frustration and things like that down the line. So you want to take charge of this because I feel like you're you're very, very hopeful and, and um, you know, idealistic. And those are great, great qualities but I feel that you're dealing with people who might be taking advantage of the situation. They have too much on their plate and they're reneging on their responsibility. So it's really important for you to resolve this by the 15th, okay? Whatever it is, just resolve it so that you're not swamped with, you know, feeling um, upset by the end of the month, all right? So romance work looks very, very good. I do feel within your home environment, things are not looking too great. And um, a lot of you might have to, you know, undergo some type of repairs within the household. And there might be a, a little bit of financial dip as a result because of this expenditure. And if you have recently hired a contractor to do any type of work on your house, I feel that they have to be called back for some fixing up of their, because their previous work was not done, you know, satisfactorily. So it, it's just some type of headache that you're dealing with when it comes to home family repairs, okay? Um, I feel that for a lot of you, there is very, very strong attraction coming in from an air sign. So I feel like there's, um, some of you is, there's a very, very attractive, very attractive air sign um, in your environment that you are really just, you know, very attracted to, for lack of better words. I can't find of an, another word. So someone is really either very, very beautiful, and it can be, you know, male or female, someone very beautiful, very handsome, very attractive. And you're kind of like mesmerized by this person. And um, the important thing to know is it, it's a, you know, physical attraction doesn't mean everything. Um, it is something that gets you know, so gets us noticed, but it's not, you know, a hundred percent. So the, one of the things I'm sensing here is there is an air sign who's very attractive that you might be putting on a pedestal and they seem to be someone, you know, completely legitimate. They have very good qualities, very intelligent. They will fight for your honor. They're very uh, brave, courageous, and they're very no-nonsense, okay? What you see is pretty much what you get. So I don't sense any deception or anything like that. And if this is a new air sign that you're meeting for this month, I feel that they're going to be super attractive. And it's strange because um, the sun is also in the constellation of Aquarius, which will also trine all the air signs. So they're very well received this month. They have a lot of, you know, charisma about them. So there is some air sign in your life that you're dealing with who is very attractive, who I feel like you're putting on a pedestal. And in the process of, you know, going out dating other people, for example, you're feeling as if you're kind of like comparing apples and oranges and it's not fair. And just know that, just know that Looks are not everything. And I feel like you might be mesmerized by the glamour and the appearance. And, you know, for, for all people in general. So, for example, if you have somebody that you really like, but for some reason things just fizzled out, that happens to be very attractive. And then you go out dating and all your other options are kind of like, you know, not that great. And then you compare these two based on just the, the physical attractiveness it just doesn't make sense to do that. Additionally, if they have some really, really good qualities and you're you're comparing that with the next person, rather than taking each person on a case-by-case case basis is what I'm trying to say. So it's really important for you to 
um, approach each person as an individual rather than you know comparing comparing qualities traits and things like that it might not be fair okay everyone has their redeeming qualities so it's really important to hone in on what it is that you're looking for first so that you have legitimate reason to refuse decline somebody if they don't meet your your stringent you know list of of requirements but either way being more open-minded and giving everyone a chance I feel that there uh, there are quite a few people that will really surprise you with their wit so what you see is not always what you get especially coming in for this month so you know giving people a chance they will amaze you by just by their sheer intelligence wit and charisma is what I'm sensing here um, let me see if there is anything else I'm sensing here a lot of you I feel that for those of you you know around like the 30 age group there is going to be somebody that you're very attracted to who is the, and there is like a significant age gap so it could be you know I, I feel like a lot of you might be very mesmerized by somebody who's older or significantly younger I feel that it, it's one or the other I feel like you're not really looking within your age group because um, in the past you might have and then you realize oh I want to expand my you know potential my dating prospects so I'm going to try a different demographic so it could be you know different cultural group altogether cultural ethnic group or it could be you know significant age gap so this is like within 10 you know outside of the 7 10 years age group so it looks very favorable though and I do feel that you know the main challenge comes within the home and that's something that I feel you're in the process of rectifying and trying to figure out for yourself what you want to do okay um, since we have this entire cluster of reverse cards I'm actually going to pull out three more and just to see what is the main focus for you in order to um, rectify this situation I feel like a lot of you might be moving homes for some reason might be looking to travel I, I don't feel travel coming in for this month but you're you're anxious about starting some new venture it deals with higher education um, it could be like a, a work training program on the job to in increase your um, employability or to increase your income generating potential so let me see what's the best thing for you to do regarding this uh, bottom cluster of reversed cards Oh, if you're purchasing property too and you put in a bid in January that wasn't the best time to do it so it's probably not coming through for a good reasons okay because I, I do feel that if you place a bid and you're waiting 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 on it I don't feel that it's going to go through in your favor but it's understandable because it was mercury in retrograde so you probably will end up with a house that will would have been very problematic so I feel like it's um it's best that you don't do that so overall you know financially things are going to be very very good with this new venture with the new job okay you are going to have very stable income uh, revenue stream and it has the ability to grow for you so investment opportunities looks very favorable the second half of the month all right financially you're in good hands so I feel that things are going to be okay for a lot of you I do feel that um, this is the energy and I, I was trying to figure out what the page of wands is um, looking at and what he's looking for and I this is a card about reassessment okay reassessing a major major investment that we have devoted a lot of time love even resources in but the majority of it has to do with time because I feel like you're the page energy you're growing and you're starting to feel the passage of time where you know it feels like if you're a woman and you're looking for children for you're looking to have children you're starting to feel the passage of time and you're starting to look at the situation like I'm not getting younger do I do I or don't I want children for example you know that concept of the whole biological clock you're feeling the gravity of it and I feel that for a lot of you you're looking for more of a stable relationship where you can have this okay so that's another thing I'm getting here with these two cards but I feel that you're assessing some significant thing in your life that you've devoted you know seven years seven months in and uh, for the past seven years or the past seven months and you're reassessing and I feel like a lot of you just 
want it to be over. A lot of you just want to walk out of it, to walk away, but you're you're kind of like looking at it to see if it's worth it. I feel like you're giving it another month before you walk away. I also feel as well that um this is a situation where, you know, we keep coming back for more, okay? It's kind of like taking a pause and then re-engaging in combat. When it's in the reverse position, I feel like a lot of you are, you, you just don't want it anymore. And it's, it's, not because, it's not because you're tired or weary. I feel that your heart is not in it anymore. And you're a fire sign. If you don't feel passionately about something, it's probably in your best interest to let it go because, you know, you can lie to other people, but you can't lie to yourself. And as a fire sign, you have a very strong sense of moral obligation, moral integrity. Lying to yourself would, it's just something that fire signs don't do. Um, you're very true to yourself and you know, you always know what you want. And you can do things out of love for other people, but if the love is not in a relationship, you really don't want to make that compromise. You know, like uh, earth signs will stay in miserable relationships, but fire signs generally don't because they, they have that um, sense of uh, personal integrity. And even if there are children involved and things like that, you can't lie to yourself. If you're not feeling the love, if you're not, if it has run out, you know, then you, you pretty much will walk away. So I feel like for a lot of you, something is on its last leg and it's best for you to just cut your losses right now. And I feel like this is not, you know, one of those things where it comes at a, as a surprise. I don't feel, I don't feel there has been infidelity or anything like that, but I do sense that something drastic has happened, um, has, has been kind of like dragging on for the past three months and you're coming out of it. A lot of you are coming out of it or a lot of you are just, you know, you're at the acceptance stage, I feel. You're just like, yeah, it's not working. So I'm just going to check myself out and cut my losses. And I feel like it's not even about cutting your losses. You just know that you're on a better path already. So halfway through this month, I feel like you're, you're already, you know, picking up the pieces and moving on and true to your fiery self, I feel like you're not going to have a problem with this at all. Okay. So it's not one of those months. If you're, you were reversed with all of these reverse cards, then I would be worried. 